Welcome back guys, Max here. And today, as you can see by the screen, obviously we are clearly playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. And I wanted to give you, or I wanted to share with you guys, uh, a way with which you can utilize your Xbox controller and actually play this game as effectively as you could if you were using mouse and a keyboard. Now, it's taken me all week so far to uh, to delve into this and figure it out and, and get it working. Um, and I finally have a setup that I think works and is, is relatively good. And it's something that now that I'm ready to actually put out there and share with you guys. And you can let me know what you think. So I know the, the, uh, the, the, the PC mob are going to probably have an absolute fit when they see this. But uh, you can play this game with a controller. And today's video is all about how that goes on and, and how you can do it and how you can tune it and what I think some of the best settings are to enable yourself to do that. So on the screen coming up real soon here, you are going to see the minimum requirements for actually playing this game in the first place. Obviously, this is still on PC. This is not released for console yet. And so you are going to need a PC with, with, a, with a certain spec criteria. So up on the screen now, you will see this minimum specs you require to play this game and download it and all that fun stuff. So if your computer is anywhere close to these specs or above, then you can play this game and you don't need to use a mouse and you don't need to use the keyboard. You can in fact remap, recontrol and reconfigure your Xbox controller and have just as good an experience as you would do if you were playing with a mouse and a keyboard. So that being said, we're going to have to skip away from the video and I am going to have to go through some setup functions for you. I will do it on the screen and I will try and explain it to you in the best of my ability um, and try and go step by step and I'll do it as slow as I possibly can so that you can all follow along. Obviously, you have the ability to press pause at any time you want um, just in case you miss something or you can rewind and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's get stuck into it and uh, we will start out with a very basic setup of the controller. Right, guys. Here we are. This is the home page of my computer. And so, as you can see, we've got Hell Beagle sitting on top of my logo, which is real nice, but real boring, and that's not why you're here. So, let's get stuck into it, and there's a quite a lot to get through, so bear with me. I'm going to try and do this as clearly and concisely as I possibly can. So, first things first, you're going to need to download uh, Steam, which is obviously relatively easy, and I'm sure you guys can figure that out via the the, the helpful resource that is Google. Um, download Steam, obviously, and you are going to be greeted with this screen right here. So, first things first, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go over here. If you haven't created a Steam account, obviously, you're going to need to do that. Go over to where it says Big Picture Mode, and excuse me, you're going to be greeted with this screen right here. Now, very the first things first. When you've got first of all, when you've got Steam, you need to obviously download Player Unknown Battleground and play that. Uh, play that. Download that to Steam. Um, it costs thirty bucks, twenty nine ninety nine. Um, once you've got that in Steam, this is obviously a screen. This this next screen you're going to come back to. So before we get stuck into it, you need to go into settings. Now in settings, where it says controller settings, right here, click on that. Tick the boxes that you see that are on my screen right here, right now. And obviously, this is my controller, which is what I want, is right there. And so once you tickle this, um, boom, that is what you want right there. So get all of that taken down. Make sure you tickle those boxes. Get all that done. Tick PS4 configuration support as well, just to cover all the bases, because this does work for PlayStation as well. Then come back out of this if it will let me, there we go, and then come back out again. Then you want to go into library, once you've got that set up, and click on Player Unknown Battlegrounds, which will prop up in your library, as should, you know, once you've downloaded it. Go into Manage Game, and then once you're in man Manage Game, you want to go into Controller Configuration, and you're going to be greeted with a screen exactly like this one here. Now, at the very bottom of the screen, you're going to see Browse Configs, Export Config, and Done. Go down to Browse Configs, like so. Templates, which is down here. I believe it's in there. Nope. That is not the one I wanted. Where is it? There are some. Nope. 
If you go to the community setups, which is right here, there are a bunch of different setups that other people have uploaded, but it may work for you, it may not. It didn't for me. When I click on one of these, it will sit there tirelessly just spinning its wheels forever more. So I, I didn't do this. Um, what I did, I'm trying to think where I got this, um, where I got this other configuration from. I can't remember. You guys are probably going to have to play around with this a little bit. Um, maybe it was in templates. Oh, it is in templates. Never mind. So let's go down to templates and I picked out one down here, um, which is this one right here. So it is in templates. It's gamepad with high precision camera aim. Click on this one and it will bring up, um, let me go back real quick here and tell this is live. It'll bring this up and you'll see this written up above here. And this just basically configures the controller overall in a, in a very basic standard format. From here on out, this is where the fun starts and this is where you want to start, you know, remapping and configuring buttons and having a good fun time. So there's not to say that my mapping is, is exactly correct, but the mapping that I've got on here certainly works well for me. Um, and so I thought I'd share this with you. So let's start with the control sticks. Um, con so joystick mouse, you want to set that to Z. If you click into this, this is the image and style that you are going to get. Joystick mouse, leave this be. Click on the action, just click into this. Select Z on the keypad and it will now bind the ring of this uh, controller stick to Z. Now Z in the game, what it is, is prone. So if you press down on the, on the stick, your character will go prone. Now moving on to the, the, other, uh, the other stick over here, you'll see I've got it bound to the letter C and we're gonna do that in exactly the same way. Hit C, it's now gonna bind this to what is effectively on the keyboard is C and that is crouch. So we've got crouch and we've got prone, both on the, on the, uh, both on the analog sticks right there. Same way as if we now come over to the YBA X buttons, you will see that I have V, R, and space selected and if you select on them this is the menu that you get up it's very very simple click on the button that you wish to bind hit the button and you'll see it pop up on the button bindings now v i do you know what i can't remember oh v is basically it changes the uh the character from third to first person reload is r which is on x spacebar is jump which i've got assigned to b and f is what did I assign F to? Do you know what? I can't remember what F is for the life of me. I can't remember. Can't remember what F is. Somebody will have to help me out with that in the comments, but I can't remember what F is, but I bound F to A. Um, what the hell is F? I can't remember. Anyway, so let's move on and we'll go to go to the bumper layout. Tab on the left bumper is actually free look. So if I hold the left bumper down, um, it gives me the free look function, which I've bound onto the tab. And it's the same way to set this up. You're quite literally going to click on this, hit tab, and it will now assign the bumper to tab. If you click over to the right side, you're going to do the same thing. I've got mine set for M, which is for the map, so I can you know quickly get onto that. And then, of course, we have the fire buttons, which is I've got assigned to the left and, mouse, and right mouse. Um, and in case you don't know, left mouse is fire and right mouse, for the way it's bound up by default, um, will be aimed down sight. So this is basically aim. And on the other side, this is fire. So kind of similar to a battlefield loadout of sorts. Um, and I found I'm, I'm still tuning it. This is not done by any stretch of the imagination, but um, I have found that this works quite well. I don't really want to interfere with too much muscle memory when it comes to Battlefield 1. So I've kind of tried to tune my settings, I guess, on my controller to accommodate what my muscle memory already does in Battlefield and apply that slightly to, to player unknown battlegrounds. Now, what I do find myself doing quite a lot is I will still have the mouse on standby by the side. Um, and I will use that for inventory, moving stuff around within the inventory. It is a hell of a lot faster than you're going to get the controller going. Um, and so I, I still utilize a kind of a combo controller hybrid mouse uh, mix to make this game work. So there's my settings on the screen. That's how you can bind your controller to it if you have a PC capable of running the game. I hope you do. This game is a ton of fun. 
and I certainly find it a hell of a lot easier using my controller, something that I'm used to and, and not having to relearn and, and you know a complete new system. So I hope this has helped you guys out. You ca it can be done. I don't care what anybody says. It can be done. There it is on the screen with the detailed instructions. I hope you like the video, guys, as always. Please like, please share, please leave a comment down below. If you don't like it, leave a thumbs down. By all means, that's absolutely fine as well. And I will catch up with you guys, I guess, on the Saturday morning live stream pop in say hello leave some comments and uh i shall see you guys on the weekend until that time ta-da